Hey, what is up guys? We are here with a video today on how to use training mode. A lot of you guys have been asking me questions like, hey, I play this character and I can't beat this character, right? I'm having a lot of trouble against this normal and this special move, etc. What do I do? And the solution to your problem is really training mode. Uh, and training mode, knowing how to use training mode is one of those things that's not just good as a Street Fighter V player, it's good for any fighting game that you pick up. So, uh, one of these problems that myself I was having was how to punish Karen Sweep with Ryu. I was like, I don't know how to do this. So I thought I would walk you guys through how I figured out how to punish Karen Sweep with Ryu. Uh, and all this is just a lesson on how to use training mode pretty much, right? So what I did was I set Karen to do sweep and then block, right? Uh, that's all I want her to do. Now, the thing I was, the problem I was having was trying to punish this when I block it at about this range here. Uh, because I was trying all my different normals, my crouching medium kick, my sweep, uh, my I even tried stuff like crouching medium punch, and even I tried standing heavy punch, and none of those reached. So I was like, what do I do if I block that normal from so far away? I even tried standing medium kick, which is really far as well, and you know, no dice. So I'm like, what am I supposed to do there? That's obviously a really funky situation to figure out uh, in a match. Now that's what training mode's so great for, is that you have time to come in here and try all the different things you want to do. Now obviously if I block this sweep from like this range up close, uh, it's way easier to punish. But at that max distance, I was having trouble figuring out what I'm supposed to do. But I tried a bunch of different normals, and I found out that standing light kick works. I also found out that crouching jab works, uh, but crouching jab doesn't lead to as much, so it's not as good of a solution. But standing light kick, I found out, is the business. It's a really good button here, and I would have never thought of that if it wasn't for training mode. So, here's some of the stuff I found out about standing light kick. Standing light kick and a fireball does not combo. Uh, but your opponent's got to deal with that, right? You get some chip there. If you do EX Fireball, however, it does combo, which is pretty great. It actually gives you a knockdown, and you can spend some meter there. Uh, but if you're saving that for super, obviously, maybe you don't want to use the EX there. I tried standing light kick into a few other things, including uppercut. None of the versions of uppercut worked. Uh, they just whiffed every time. I tried the same thing with Tatsu, and when I did Tatsu, Tatsu didn't work either. Uh, but I did find out that EX Tatsu works, which is pretty great it sucks her in just like that so I was a fan of that that's good too so now I have two solutions both of them cost meter but again training mode that's what's so important about this right now I have answers that I previously didn't have at all so we've got that I wanted to figure out stuff that I can do without spending meter what can I do to avoid spending that EX bar to get the punish right if I want to save my meter if I don't have any I found out that reversal light punch uppercut works which really surprised me. I didn't think that that would be the case. Uh, and then I tried the other versions of Uppercut. Medium Punch also works, which is really great. I was like, man, some extra damage right there. I'll take that all day. And then I tried Fierce, and I was like, yeah, Fierce has to work, right? No. So I guess there's just not as much of a horizontal reach on a Heavy Punch Uppercut, but it doesn't work. Uh, so I figured, well, you know, EX must work because it has, you know, a big hitbox and everything. Uh, and it does sometimes. EX Uppercut will work occasionally. But for some reason, at some ranges, Karen just falls out. So the first hit hits, and then she falls out of the second hit, and she can just get up. <laughs> so I was like, man, EX Uppercut doesn't work either. So my solution there really became, if I don't have any meter, the best thing to do is probably Light Punch or Medium Punch Uppercut. Uh, because it's pretty consistent, and you know, it gets a knockdown, and it does some pretty okay damage. So uh, I figured out that if I don't have meter, I can do Uppercut. And if I do have meter, I can do stand light kick into EX Tatsu or EX Fireball. So again, stuff that I would not have known if it wasn't for training mode. And this is just kind of the procedure for figuring this stuff out. Finally, the last thing I wanted to check is if I had super, if I could do reversal super and it would punish the sweep. I checked, and as you probably guessed, it works. So uh, I have a couple of solutions here if I have full super, if I have EX bar, and if I now have no meter. So, uh, this is stuff that I had no idea about. She can stop sweeping now. <laughs> this is stuff that I had no idea about before I hopped into training mode. And again, if you're having problems with something with your character, you can't figure out the solution to stuff, I definitely recommend just going into training mode, setting the computer to doing that, and just trying different things. You might find solutions that really surprise you. Like, to me, the standing light kick thing made no sense. I was like, man, I can't believe that's the answer. It just boggles the mind. But that's that's the solution, and I never would have known it if it wasn't for training mode. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I know this is a pretty... Uh, particular situation but it's just an idea about why training mode is so important and how you should be using it hopefully you guys enjoyed learned a little something and i'll see you guys again soon